I really like understanding how things work. And so that's where like anatomy and being a surge tech kind of just meld beautifully. You get to understand how the human body works in a way that meld together. I'm Gina Sullivan. I'm a student in the surgical technology program. This is our lab. This is where we get to practice before we actually go to clinicals um, and where we can continue to set up other uh, surgeries and scenarios so we're prepared when we actually go to the main hospital. So I actually started at the college um, as a nursing degree and I switched a couple of years ago um, over to surgical technology. It's something that not a lot of people know that we are in the operating room. Um, it just fits better for my personality. I can be a little OCD, which works because everything needs to be in its place in surgery, so you know what you're grabbing for. Good communication is really important. You're gonna be gowned, gloved. I mean, the only thing you see in the operating room is just your eyes. So you need to be able to enunciate, pronunciate, and have good communication there. We help keep things sterile so people don't get sick. Um, you don't wanna get an infection while you're in surgery. And we really help the docs out by holding retractors, passing instruments, keeping sharps protected so people don't get injuries. Uh, the first time I went into a, into a live operating room and saw a live surgery for the first time, uh, saw how the team worked together and how laid back everybody was in the operating room, I knew that that was a, the right place for me. Uh, my name is Dan Nielsen. I'm a surgical tech, surgical first assist here at the hospital. I do a lot of thoracic robots. Um, that tends to be my favorite, so I get to be in there quite a bit. And uh, I'm right next to the patient the whole time, um, swapping out different arms with the robot and uh, helping our surgeon uh, manipulate you know, some of the organs so that he can get better access and better view of it. Um, bringing suture in and out of the patient for him to sew with when he's using the robot. And, uh, so from the very beginning of the surgery, I'm next to the patient uh, until the very end when they wake up. Uh, some of the challenges of the, of the job are, uh, you know, working hours, you know, taking call, uh, coming in, in the middle of the night, working, and then coming in the next day and still doing some work. Uh, balancing, you know, life and work is a bit of a challenge. Um, with surgery, you know, not every surgery can be easy. So some of them are very difficult and that, you know, that reflects on the whole team. You know, makes all of our jobs difficult when the surgery is difficult. So it's not just the surgeon suffering, you know, we're all kind of right there with them. You know, when I started being a surgical tech in 2001, if somebody would have came up to me and said, you know, in 20 years, we're going to be using a robot to do surgery, I would have said no way there's no way um, just in the 20 years I've been working in the operating room I've seen a lot of big changes that have really benefited a lot of patients and made the whole job different so with my position I'm constantly learning new things as technology improves try to get in um, and observe as a student come into the hospital through an observation program and watch some surgery watch how the teams work together and now we're a pretty close-knit group um, in the operating room just to be exposed to that, see if that's really something they'd want to see. Anatomy and physiology is one of the most important things for being a surgical tech. Um, you've got to know the anatomy that the surgeon's working on. You need to know the surgical procedures and you need to want to do it. You need to have that will to learn every day and come to work with an open mind and even after 20 years I still learn something new every day.